Hey everyone, my name is Lucy from Lucy's Life and welcome back to another video on this channel. I'm going to be showing you guys the best vlogging setup um, for beginner filmmakers or just filmmakers in general that are on a budget. Clearly, I'm 11 and I'm on a huge budget and I need a setup that is great, easy for me to use. I'm fantastic. This is a big setup so if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, you might head over to Bailey, one of Bailey's videos where he does his um, Sony Power Shot review. Um, or you can go over to Sam if you want something a bit better, if you have a bit more money, and check out the Canon Edit. So, here is film on my iPhone 5C with the Haldex WT312, which is where I film every single video on the tripod. tripod. Um, and I'm going to show you guys the full setup, so enjoy. Okay, so this here is a Joby Gorilla Pod. My last video I did a review on it being the best uh, tripod uh, that you could use for vlogging. Um, the $60 one, big, nice, awesome one. Really nice. Um, the thing that it is most famous for is how it bends a lot. It is the bendy tripod and it can wrap around poles and all that kind of stuff. To get those shots in places where with just a normal tripod you wouldn't be able to get them. So that is amazing. Um, it's big enough, it has a bull head, tells you what level you can be on. You can tighten it through this thing um, and move it around through here. So definitely an awesome tripod, definitely recommended. You can get it in all kinds of different colors. Yeah, definitely a good tripod. Next up we have the microphone. This is the Techstar SGC598. So if you can't really afford to get a road mic and you want a budget because you want to save a lot of the money for the camera, you can get this. So this thing is made for it to pick up quiet noises. So I can talk into this and it will, um, it will make, pick, pick up the noises really well. So it's a very, very good microphone. I definitely recommend it. I've been using it for quite a couple of months now. Um, and it's definitely a good microphone. On to the next thing, the main thing, the camera. This here is the Canon SX60 HS. It is definitely a good camera. Now you can get other kind of stuff um, that doesn't involve a camera, but just a phone and all kinds of when you can get your full potential out of it, which I'll show you guys in a couple more video, uh, in a video soon. Um, but this is, if you want a camera, this is definitely recommended. So some of the uh, things about it is it has the flip out screen, um, which is definitely amazing if you want to do some vlogging or some selfie shots. You can have the flip out screen to be able to see yourself. But there is one thing I want to point out. When you're filming with this, don't look at the screen. You can look at the screen before the video, check if you're in focus and everything, but you must always look at the lens. Because people are going to think you're just looking over at something else. Like, see, pretend that I'm filming on this camera right now. This is what it would look like if you were looking at the screen. So yeah guys, that's how today's going to be. It's definitely not a good thing to look at the screen, but the screen's there for you to be able to notice if you're in focus and that kind of stuff um, out of the corner of your eye, which is definitely a great thing. As I'm turning it on here, this little scroll thing here keeps it in focus. Definitely important when you go out of focus, it'll keep you in. Um, also, it has a Wi-Fi, which I reckon is amazing, because I love to edit on the bus on the way to school, which is easy way to edit on my phone. So, I get the Wi-Fi the night before, on like the Sunday night, I put the Wi-Fi from the camera on, connect it to the Camera Connect app from Canon, um, and export all the videos onto my phone, which is definitely a great thing. Um, next thing about it is it does have a viewfinder. All you do to get the viewfinder is close it like that, the screen and you're into the viewfinder. Now keep in mind this is a point and shoot, not, no DSLR, but it has, it has the effects of a DSLR, which is why it is definitely recommended from me. Okay, so basically a lot of people haven't been buying this camera because of the lens, because they know that you can't attach any other lens to it. This lens stays here permanent, but do they know the effect of this awesome lens? Basically, this lens has everything you need so that you don't need to change the lenses. First of all, it is a wide angle lens, so it does get that wide angle. Second of all, it is has the furthest zoom you could ever get. Auto focuses really well. That is what the lens looks like when you're doing the zoom. Super of five, that is a, it's not 60X, it's 65X. So guys, in my last video I said it was 60X optical zoom. This is a 65X optical zoom, full HD, Autofocus is fantastic. Why would you even ever think about changing lenses on this thing? 
I just don't understand why you would, um, because this thing has everything that you would want in a lens. Second of all is the pop-up flash. Pop-up flash is definitely really important because if you have those flashes that just don't go down, which a lot of cameras have unfortunately, it will get ruined. So it'll just be up the whole camera like that. It'll, it'll pop for sure get ruined. So it's nice to have one that you can just pop up and pop back down. Um, next thing is it has the hot shoe mount right here, just so that you can connect your microphone. And for a shotgun mic input, which a lot of cameras don't have, this luckily has it. The shotgun mic input. It has a couple buttons along the lens, which is um, face select um, and uh, wide angle. No, no, wait, face select's another button. So this here is out angle, so that's wide angle. Wait, that's in angle, that's out angle. So that's like wide, that's like, so the out angle is like wide angle, the in angle is like different, so. And then along here, you have the face select button right there. So I don't know if you can see through the screen right now. Come on. See the screen. I press the face lift button and it says face lift is on and it has the whole thing on my face to be able to see and all the focus immediately onto my face. Um then now we'll go through the buttons of this thing. So okay, let's go through the buttons. So through here we have the record button. So when I turn it on, I press this button and it will record. Now through this button, which is next to the green line over here, press P. You click on that, and it automatically goes to it. Then the delete button, you click on it, it comes up with a thing. Click on this button, and then click on this button, and it goes. Now through here, oops, sorry. Um, you have the Wi-Fi button, which goes to Wi-Fi. I will do a tutorial on it soon. I'll film on my other crappy camera. That definitely is a bit pretty bad. Um, I'll do a tutorial on that soon. Um, you have the rose effect. So sorry guys, this is glitching. Alright, so rose effect. Oh yeah, okay, so so I want to talk to you guys about the modes. Basically the modes are super important. My favorite mode is this mode that I have on now, which is called It's called hybrid auto definitely an awesome effect It does in sunset things have the effect of a Canon 80D, which I reckon is really cool um, Yeah, there, this, there's all kinds of different modes, but I reckon this one is the best mode for filmmaking um, Because it's just awesome now Unlike a DSLR, it doesn't do that thing that you just get those quick shots in the lens. So you have a little button here, which is what also what you use to record and put around there, and you can do it like that. Luckily, the zoom on this thing is super fast, so you do get the quick shots, just not as easy, so you gotta go to the button. But still, definitely good. Anyway, so basically, those are the button tutorials of it. This is definitely a good camera, guys, recommended fully. Going to the bottom, bottom here, we have the tripod, screw on. Um, luckily, a lot of cameras, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure all cameras have them. If you don't, like, what are you doing? Okay, um, and you open it up, through there, you the battery and the SD card, which for my SD card right now, I'm using an eight gigabyte same disk SD card, which works very, very well. Um, and all I gotta do, I don't, need, I don't need to change any SD cards, I can just delete it fully off my camera once it's onto my phone and onto the thing where I keep all footage so this is a very good uh, camera definitely recommended um, now let's get on to making the whole setup this setup is like a cheaper version of Casey Neistat Casey Neistat's old setup was a Canon 70D with a Joby Gorilla Pod and a Rode mic now he is filming and this is some um, Sony some different kind of setup um, and it's just really yeah like a different setup but if you want to get his old kind of setup in a cheaper version this is what I would suggest you do Take the camera, it's point and shoot, not DSLR. Pointing it out there, point and shoot, not DSLR. Um, but definitely got the effects of DSLR. And you screw on the tripod, you know what you think. Be careful, because you don't want to drop the camera, it gets pretty loose at the start. And we go on. All right, screw it on. Ooh, okay, okay. I didn't drop the camera, I dropped the tripod, so. 
Come on. This video is like, what, 10 minutes long? I don't know what it is. This is going for a while. Uh. Yes, turn the camera nice and cute. Just got to turn the camera. I was careful. Put um, it around until you feel it completely tight. I'm feeling it getting really tight in here. Adjust it, and we've got that. This can be a main vlogging setup if you don't have any room for a microphone. If you just want it a little bit smaller, you can just do it like that. That's definitely perfect. The Joby Girl put it on the camera. I did, did film a lot of my vlogs with that because this mic has broken a couple of times through. This part is falling off the mic, so like this, like the part where you're scrolling on. Yeah, that's falling off the mic, so it takes the camera. But let's fix it now. It's cool. Um, and, and it won't happen unless you sit on it. So just don't sit on it. I accidentally sit on it. So yeah. Um, because since it's like plastic, it's really really like, hard. But I'm light. Anyway, um, so. Joby Girl Report and the Canon SX60. You can use this as a setup instead of using the mic, but I do suggest the mic. Great. Now putting on the mic. Just put it on like that into the hot trim out. Tighten it around the way that you make that that feels comfortable. It can be too anyway. So unless it doesn't look so nice, it does. That way it goes back. So wait, hold on, my dad took me away. Left to loosey, right tight. So left to loosey means left is loose. Righty tidy is making it nice and tight. So that's how you can remember which way to go. Now you've got to just grab the mic and you plug it into the mic input. Which I will open up. And it is plugged in. When you turn it on, make sure the mic is always turned on. After, Otherwise, you won't get any noise out of it at all. Um, it, it, it actually just sounds like you want to. You want to. <laughs> No, it's not nice. Sorry guys about me. Uh -huh. You turn it on, otherwise it just sends and you don't get any noise out of your mouth. So it's really important that you turn it on. Um, that's basically how it goes. Um, if you want to get the Wi-Fi tutorial, I will do a tutorial on how to work the Wi-Fi soon. But um, this is the vlogging setup that I film with right now. Greatly suggested. KNSX 60 HS. Tax star HEC 508. And then Joey Bill. Bye. This is my favorite setup ever. I vlog with this every single time I vlog, like so every single weekend and daily for the holidays. Definitely good setup, guys. So, I'm gonna switch around and see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Talk to corporate, approve memos, lead a workshop, remember birthdays, direct workflow.